Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents under the umbrella of Good Parenting, Brighter Children. Before I get into our topic today, I just want to remind you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel here at Good Parenting Brighter Children. I would love it if you'd go to my uh, website, Good Parenting Brighter Children, and you can uh, subscribe there, give me your email, and you every two weeks, you will uh, be one of the first people to know what I am posting on my blog that week. I post every two weeks plus, you'll have access to my resource section, which is filled with all kinds of educational materials and materials that you can use in helping you raise brighter children. Today we're going to talk about different how-to activities that you as a grandparent can do with your grandchildren. I know there's a lot of creative grandparents out there that you're already doing fun and creative things with your grandchildren, but here's some additional things that you might find fun. Uh, most of them are geared for girls, but I'm also throwing in a few that are geared for boys as well. But grandfathers, if you like to cook and bake, then, and I know a lot of grandfathers that do, and that is one thing that they do with their grandchildren. When they come over or when they go to see them, they're far, far away or distances, one of the first things they do is help them to cook and to bake, and kids are going to love that. Boys too. Think of it this way. Some of the greatest chefs in the world are men. So don't discount that your, your sons will not love to make different things with their grandfathers and grandmothers. Okay, but there's other activities um, that you can do with your grandchildren. Let's talk about boys for a minute. You can take them on a fishing trip or you can go fishing with them. You can go to a ball game with them. You can go to a, on a walk with them. You can have them talk to you if they're playing video games and hopefully they're not playing many video games. That's not good for their brains. But talk to them about them. Get them to talk about it. Get them to talk about the intricacies of it, what different things that they're doing. Get them to talk about why they like computers. Get them to talk about what is their very favorite subject in school. If they play a musical instrument, it, have them play for you. Um, if they're, they give and they present different concerts or recitals, by all means, be on the front row of seeing one of your, your grandchildren perform in one of these things. Grandmothers, again, you can be involved with your granddaughters and your grandsons with all of those activities, but there's some other how-to videos. I talk about how to make fingernail polish. It is a lot of fun, and I talk about in each one of these sections, I have a tidbit for parents, which is also a tidbit for grandparents. Different things that you can teach them. When they're making fingernail polish, this is a safe recipe of making fingernail polish. Plus, it's a lot of fun. It's an organic, vegan, uh, cruelty-free recipe that your granddaughters would love to make. I also have a potpourri that you can use for the different holidays that we experience here in the fall time. One for Halloween, one for Thanksgiving, one for Christmas. You can uh, teach them about, and all of these things, you can teach them about processes and sequences and cause and effect. Sequences is a very important thing because usually when you're making something, whether it's baking or cooking or making a potpourri or a body scrub or a fingernail polish, there's a certain order that you have to go in. You can't just take eggs and milk and flour and sugar and plop it on a pan and expect that it's going to all of a sudden miraculously form into a pancake. So you can say there's a sequence. We have an order that we have to follow of one, two, three. And you can tell them also, you can ask them why questions. Why do you think we're putting this in? What do you think will, will um, happen if we use this particular ingredient? It doesn't call for this, but what if we put it in? Let's kind of experiment here. So you're helping them to, again, with critical thinking questions when you're asking, or critical thinking abilities when you're asking them different kinds of questions. All of this section um, is on my blog, on those how-to blogs. There is this teaching tips for parents that and grandparents that you want to go to and read some of those things. If, let's say you're making a salad together and take all the different kinds of vegetables. Talk to them. Okay, say, the tomatoes are really good for this. The peppers are really good for this. We're going to use garlic in this particular spaghetti sauce recipe. This is why garlic and onions are really good for us, and this is how they build our brains and make us smarter and how they help us with our skin. So every activity that you're involved with your grandkids, make it also not only fun, but make it a learning experience so that you will be remembered forever and ever by your grandchildren that they had not only fun with you, but they learned something as well. Here's a quote that I'm going to leave with you by Jean Perret. He said, what a bargain grandchildren are. I give them my loose change and they give me a million dollars worth of pleasure. And if you're a grandparent, you know that that is true. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.